This is the last of the first 1,000 rivets, all that's left in the cup. And then we'll start on our next 1,000 rivets. All right, this is rivet number 1,000. And we still have a whole bunch more to do. <laughs> It's not hitting the, it's not closing flush. Okay, so I'm hitting the skin oh, here. Low. So let me think. Um, yeah, so this is gonna be two by four, or two by six or whatever we make a tread out of. Um, and then two by two below it. So the door's actually gonna be sealing against Turn that. So what I'm looking for is an even gap from top to bottom. If, it, if the top is too far out, okay. then I'm going to have too big of a gap at the bottom. If it's too far in, I'll have too big of a gap at the top. And so finding that even gap, making sure that everything looks straight. All right, today we are working on getting the our entry door framed in, and so we've got these just tack welded in place now, and then finish welding them. Plus, I need to weld in this little piece of hat channel so we can uh, attach our skin to it. And then, once that's welded in solid, we need to figure out the issue we're having with our door. After welding on our door so much, we tried as best we could to keep it uh, straight, but it got warped a little bit vertically, so we're going to have to possibly cut some relief cuts and bend the door and then re-secure it in its straight position just so it closes securely against the train. Uh, 
right, I got the, the door frame all welded in. And now let's go outside and I'll show you where the, uh, the doors worked. Okay. So we were able to keep our doors straight this way, but we didn't focus as much vertically. And so what happened is that I think what happened is when we took out the meat for the door latch, it caused this to be pretty weak. And then as we had the, the heating and shrinking of our welds, it kind of pulled the door in a little bit. So when we put a straight edge across it, we can see that that's the case. So we've tried putting our heavy two by two steel on this and shimming it and try to bend it out, but it bends. But as soon as we release it, it goes back to its its original spot. So I think what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to cut a couple of relief cuts in the half inch tubing that'll allow the door to bend. And I may have to wedge that and then re-weld it once it's straight. Okay. I'm hoping that works. Yeah. Here's hoping. Oh, the relief cuts are made. We can kind of see them here. Let me zoom in. One there at the latch. Right there. And then another one at there. So hopefully that fix our problem. Okay. <laughs> Body work. It's leg day. Right? <laughs> it's like... All right, so I think we may have got it. Let's uh, close the door and see if our alignment's better. Mine should just need to go forward or backwards. I still need to go up a little bit. Okay, my end's in. Okay. So Evan's gotta go up. That's why we couldn't see the hole. Okay. Where's my hole? Mine's oh. down here. Okay, we're oh, we're almost there. Okay. You see the hole? Look, you guys can release. You guys can oh, let go. Okay. I don't. Right, Madeline, do you see the hole now? Yes. Okay, now pull that back in. It's the top, middle. So right okay. above your finger. Okay, Amy, you can start drilling. Okay. I'm going to work on these rivets down here. Thank you. Good job. Okay, Amy? Yeah? Let's see if the window fits. Oh, okay. Let me pull it back out. Got those plastic things on the bottom. Oh, okay. Uh, something in. Yeah, okay. There's a weld on the bottom. Okay. Feel nasty. Oh, yeah. That's a. Huh. It's just a weld covered in goo. Oh. 
Okay. Yeah. Um, okay, so I'm ready to glue. Okay. And then I'll start uh, riveting. riveting. Shady side again. Oh, the sun comes up over the top of the bus. while I'm pounding. Okay. Up. Up. Uh, I don't think so. Oh, okay. Down, sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> is that coming out, Amy? It is out. Okay. Uh, so... Okay. Okay. Relaxing. Now we gotta make sure that this looks okay before we say it's right. <coughs> Actually, looks pretty good. This will be hidden by the rub rail. Today, we got our couple more pieces of sheet metal up. We still have the door area to fill in, um, and we'll put that last window in once the door is filled in. The old door. Uh, we got the structure for the step done underneath the our new door and our last hall window done. So it's a pretty good day. Okay. So we have our door on, we got all our skin on, now we're gonna be starting to work on the stairs. So in order to do that, we're gonna have one step down on the inside that then our folding staircase is going to attach to. So just have to figure out all of our rise and run and then build a mounting bracket that's going to bolt up to the staircase bolt hole pattern. Should be simple. Should be. All 
right, so I haven't done a lot of filming on how to put these stairs in, mainly because it's uh, taken a lot of thought and planning to get it right. And let me just explain to you why it's so complicated. So we've got our outside of the bus, and then we want a single step to come down inside the bus, and the stairs are going to mount under that and go off that way. So I needed to figure out where this bottom needs to be because my finish height of the floor is two and a half inches taller than the current floor height plus my finish height of the stairs is one and a half inches higher than its current height that I need to build it to. So subtracting the two and a half inches from my eight inch rise and then adding back the inch and a half from the finished stair height plus adding the four and an eighth inches of the finished stair rise to make it an equal eight inch stair rise. So we have equal eight inch rise all the way up into the bus. You're a genius. Did that make any sense? <laughs> um, well. After watching that explanation, could you build your own bus? <laughs> no, but maybe after I watched you build your bus, I'd have, I personally would have to do it hands-on. Should I draw this bigger? <laughs> I think it's okay, I'll close up on it. Okay, ready? What Extreme close-up. Okay. So now it's coming to here. Oh, oh sorry. My extreme close-up. Close <laughs> keep walking into oh, my sorry. extreme close-up. Okay, extreme close-up. Okay, so now let's move into the inside. So this is our current floor height, but our finished floor is going to be another two and a half inches higher than this. But I want my rise from this step to the finished floor to be eight inches because that's going to match the rest of the steps. But I have to remember that on top of this two inch tubing is going to be an inch and a half of wood and then some sort of finished floor as well. So I have to subtract the two and a half inches from the eight inch rise but then add back in the inch and a half for the step material. Okay. Now that I've done is I found the center of my, my step here and I marked the center on my staircase. And now I need to transfer these bolt patterns to mount it to my next piece of bar. So this is gonna fit in here. I lined up my center of my first bar with my second bar and then from that I measured off of my center line and my distance from the back for the staircase. The other trick was is that this piece isn't going to be flush with the outside of the bus. I want these stair fronts to be flush with the outside of the bus and so all of my measurements of these holes on top are based off of these stair fronts being flush with the bus. Okay. All right, so let's see if my holes line up. All right, so I'm ready to tack this piece in and work on the rear piece. Jack it on up. Okay. Okay, keep going. Okay, we gotta push him a little further. Push him? Yep. Okay, good, keep going. Keep 
Okay. okay, so what we're doing now is we're gonna jack the stairs up into place, uh, just temporarily hook it up so we can get our brackets tack welded right exactly where we need them, then we'll drop it back down and do our finished welding. Okay, go up just a little bit more. A little more. Jack it up a little bit more. Okay, that's good. So we got the, the front of the stairs bolted and tack welded in. I left the back support loose until I got the bolts in, but it's held in tight with C-clamps. Everything's flush with the front of the bus, or side of the bus. So now we're going to weld everything in place and then I'll drop down the stairs again, finish any other welding and prime it before we put the stairs back up. With me, talking to the night and to the morning, building camp mystery. I don't think I ever want to go come closer next to me. Trying to find another way to say this, but I think, I think we were meant to be. Mystery. 